G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. Ah, you're going to do another uh, math trick video. I haven't done one of these in a while, so uh, let's launch straight into it. How fast can you multiply the following two numbers? I'm going to give you five seconds. Uh, we'll do 35 times 95. Okay. All right, time's up. Did you get the following answer? Did you get 3,325? If you did, congratulations. If not, oh, look, you know I'm going to show you how to do this, so uh, sit back, enjoy. Uh, great math trick video, and if you like this video, please remember, do like, and please, please, please subscribe. Also, comments are always welcome as well, so uh, let's just launch into how to do this trick, and at the very end, I'll show you why this trick works. So uh, first off, how to do this particular trick. Now, this multiplication trick, first off, only occurs and only works when you're multiplying numbers that end in five, like these two numbers here, 35 and 95, both end in fives. What we're gonna be having a look at is we're gonna be looking at the numbers before the fives to work out our, our answer here. We're gonna be using the three and the nine, and we're gonna do a couple of things. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply these two numbers. So three times nine is equal to 27. The second thing we're gonna do is we are gonna work out the average of these two numbers, the average of the three and the nine. That is to say, we're gonna add them together, divide by two, or work out the number halfway between. Three plus nine is equal to 12, divided by two is equal to six. Then what we're gonna do is we are gonna add these two numbers together, our two things, our 27 and our six. So 27 plus six is equal to 33. And you'll notice this is the first part of our answer here. Okay, 33. All right, um, so we're just gonna put that down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply this number by 100. So 33 times 100 is 3,300. Finally, we're going to add 25 to our answer. So if we do that, I'll just rub those out, and you're going to see that our answer here is 3,325. Hey, pretty easy trick, right? Hopefully you like that. What would you think? Nice, easy math trick? I'll tell you what, I'll go through a couple more examples. These will get a little bit harder. There's a couple of little uh, tweaks to it, but nothing too ridiculous. All right, for the second example, what about you give this one a go? Uh, 45 times 85. You know this is going to work. They both finish in fives. So give it a fly. All right, you're going to be using the four and the eight. First thing we do, four times eight. I reckon you'll be able to know that that is uh, 32. The next thing we do is we work out the average of the four and the eight here. So four plus eight is 12. And... Uh, we divide that by 2, we get 6. Add these two guys together, we get 38. Okay, so this is going to be 38 times 100 is 3,800, 3,800. Finally, what we do is we add 25 to our answer. All right, 3,825. That's a pretty rapid way of doing it, right? It's pretty good. What about to go to one where there's just a little tweak to it, okay? All right, for this example, we are going to do, uh, what about we do 45 times oh, 95? You give it a go. Okay, both end in 5. You're going to see here, we're going to go, once again, 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Then we're going to work out the average of 4 and 9. So 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. If you have 13, you're going to get the average of 6.5. Okay, so 6.5. Add these together, you're going to get 42.5. So you multiply this now by 100, we're well going to get 4,250. All right, just a little bit different there. It's not ending in the hundreds this time. To this, we are going to add 25. So 50 plus 25 is going to give us an answer of 4,275. I'll tell you what, let's do an even bigger number now. All right, for this example, let's go, uh, ooh, what about we do uh, 135 times uh, 85. All right, nice big number here. So you should be able to do the same thing. This is going to get a bit nastier though now because you're going to have to be multiplying 13 times 8. Okay, so what is 13 times 8? Hopefully this is one you can do in your head. You might look at it and say, okay, it's 24 plus 80, which is 104. Okay, the uh, average of 13 and 8, well, 13 plus 8 is equal to 21, and half of that is 10.5. So we add these together, what are you going to get? You're going to get 114.5. All right, so what do we do now? Multiply this by 100. 
And we're going to add 25 to it. All right, 50 plus 25 is going to be 75. 11,475. All right, so what do you think of that? Do you like that particular uh, type of method? I think it's I think it's actually pretty handy, okay? it's uh, Obviously, it's got its limitations, but it's pretty cool. But I'm going to show you now why this works. If you do like this, by the way, this particular method, don't forget to hit like. So let's show you why this particular method works. To do this, I'm just going to put an example. Uh, let's do 35 times 65. Okay, so when we're doing this, you can imagine this 35 being, or any number that we're starting with, as being 10x plus 5. And what I mean by that is, in this particular case, the x here would be equal to 3. 3 times 10 is 30 plus 5. But we could be dealing with 45 or 55, where x is changing our value. And that's dealing with that first number there. For our second number, this one, we're going to think of this as 10y plus 5. Okay, once again, uh, this number is represented, uh, the y here. So in this case, it's 6. 6 times 10 is 60 plus 5. And we're multiplying these two numbers together. So what happens when we do this? First off, we multiply these two parts. When we uh, do these, we get 10x times 10y, which is equal to 100xy. To this, we're going to get two things. We're going to get 5 times 10y and 5 times 10x. Now, 5 times 10y is 50y, and 5 times 10x is 50x. So we could write this as following. We could write this as 50x plus y. Okay, because 50 times x is 50x, and 50 times y is 50y. So everything's good so far, and this has leaves us finally with 5 times 5, which is 25. So I've just expanded out those brackets. Now, we can take this a little step further. What we could do is we could uh, factorize this a little bit. So if we divide by 100, I'm just going to put the 100 here. We divide this by 100, this particular term here, we're going to get xy. We divide this by 100, we're going to get x plus y, the whole lot, divided by 2, because 50 divided by 100 is a half, yeah? To this, we get 25 on the end, okay? We still have 25 on the end. So what have we got going on here? And then you'll see what, why this works. What we started doing is we started, in this particular case, going six, 35 times 65, x and y, we got 3 times 6. This was our x times y bit. Then what we did to that was we added the average. This is this part here. So we added those together. We multiplied them by 100. That's what's going on here. And to our answer, we added 25. And that's why this particular trick works. Hopefully you like that trick. Hopefully you like the explanation of why it works as well. I think it's a, it's a pretty good thing to know. Anyway, please like, please subscribe. Ah, look, it's lovely to uh, be making math trick videos. Any comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.